up, y'all? This your boy Lucha Guy, and this is gonna be my Ultima Lucha Crotch Roll first week predictions. Like, I know there's um two weeks this week, um, well, Wednesday, there's gonna be um three matches, and there's gonna be the three way trios elimination match, and then there's gonna be the Ricky Mundo versus Taya Mundo match, and then there's gonna be the Mass versus Mass Sons of Havoc versus Kill Shot match. I'm only discussing these three matches on the first week. Next week, I know this show is two hours, and I have to um do the predictions and all that for uh next week's show. Next week, I'll do that one like next Monday. But I'll just start off with this one right here with this match. It's going to be the three-way trios elimination match. Who I predict is going to win this match, obviously, you already know. It's going to have to be the new rabbit tribe because Killer Cross, the white rabbit, this guy, they're booking him strong. And they didn't just bring him in. To, like They didn't bring him in just for him to come in and flop at this match at Ultima Lucha. Usually, this is when we see like a big, like, this is like, I remember like in season one with the Disciples of Death. It usually starts at Ultima Lucha, where they have a new tag team or some tag team they want to build up strong for next season. They usually end the like in the previous season as the champion, and then they go on with a decent run in the next season as the trios champions. So I see the um the new rabbit tribe, which is Paul Lund and the White Rabbit and El Bunny. I see them winning because Evelise, Exolicious, and Sammy Guevara. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with Evelise. She shouldn't even really be with that team. That team is holding her back. This show act like they couldn't like book just Evelise versus Cobra Moon at this show. And Jeremiah Snake. I don't know. He's. They, I don't know. He's been less interested since he's been resurrected as a damn zombie snake as a damn zombie snake that's so stupid but i just see the new white rabbit tribe winning this match or the new rabbit tribe or whatever the hell the new yeah i see the new um rabbit tribe winning this match really thanks to um the white rabbit and this next match i actually want to discuss this one really i might have probably more to say about this than the other matches because there's actually more story behind this match and there's nothing on the line. This is Taya Mundo versus Ricky Mundo. And weird, how's the Taya Mundo? I thought they really didn't honestly get married. I know they're married in real life, but when Matanza came running on, it was all thanks to Ricky Mundo. Um, if Ricky Mundo happens to win this match, it's gonna be because of Rosa. And then unless Johnny Mundo comes out with the gauntlet, and maybe the gauntlet could stop the doll that's possessed. And it actually makes sense that this match is happening on Halloween, which is happening to be Wednesday, the first week's Ultima Lucha is on Halloween, so it's pretty funny that this match is on the show, but I know um, Johnny Mundo has a gauntlet, and somehow, I don't know, he needs to take off the gauntlet, really just rip Ricky Mundo's ass, seems like they was going for more of Ricky Mundo versus Johnny Mundo, but maybe they knew Ricky Mundo wasn't built up like that yet to take on Johnny Mundo, maybe they knew fans wasn't going to buy into it, so they gave Taya something to do, because Ricky Mundo, honestly, this is like a, like a jobber, honestly, but I guess it's giving Taya something to do. And they gave this guy a doll. I mean, he's wiped out quite a few members of the um, Rural Wide Underground. The manager guy, which is Benjamin Cook. And, um, what's his name? Um, and, um, and who else died because of this guy? I mean, Jack Evans, he died in a sacrifice, I guess, off the show. PJ Black had his um, ankle snapped by Jake Strong. So even PJ Black now is out of the way. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. He, I mean, this new, like, um, that new, um, fuck I'm trying to say. What they did this season with the Royal Wide Underground is a bit different. I mean, they barely been together since they turned, like, face. So, um, I don't know. It looks like they're pretty much going to be done with this uh, Worldwide Underground after this season. And a lot of this, like, big old split is really due to thanks to Ricky Mundo with this Dow. But, um, I don't know. Did they even know the manager died or did he not just care? Because I don't recall any backstage segments or cutscenes with Johnny Mundo telling the other crew members that they had lost, um... They lost the manager guy, and I know Johnny Mundo lost his friend, which was uh, Joey Mercury, or Joey Wrestling. I know he was in the World Wide Underground, but he lost him too. So I don't know, it's just going to be Johnny Mundo and Ty, at least like from now on. And there is something I know that um the Mr. Krabs pointed out, and that's in a trailer that Taya was getting possessed by the doll. Try to show it to you, show it to you guys one more time. So that doll was controlling Taya. Um, yeah, only way this is gonna have to be stopped is um, 
It's gonna have to be Boston name. It's gonna have to come out with the gauntlet, Johnny Mundo. But who do I predict to win? I'm gonna have to say. Hopefully Taya wins, because I know last year she lost to Sexy Star, and that shouldn't happen since Sexy Star embarrassed the company afterwards. So I, I hope Taya wins this with Johnny Mundo coming out with the gauntlet. If not, Johnny Mundo with the gauntlet is fucking stupid, man. If his, if his um, woman loses the match. And then last is the Mask vs. Mask. Mask vs. Mask, Sons of Havoc vs. Killshot match. Who do I, you know, first I'm going to start this off, I know a lot of people say Lucha Libre and Luchador shouldn't lose their um mask, but let's be real, outside of the show, Matt Cross, which is Sons of Havoc, he doesn't wrestle with this mask on, neither does Shane Strickland, which is Kill Shot, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Matt comes out and screws Kill Shot or even a Dante Fox, because Dante Fox, you got to remember, why else would he return right before Ultima Lucha? Is he still pissed off? Is it still some military like type shit that happened that we don't really know about some story that they didn't tell? Cause I mean I don't see really Sons of Havoc losing this unless Killshot really cheated. And then I I don't know. I mean it's hard to say who could win this. I know they're gonna have a few heels winning a show. I know the the new Rabbit Tribe they're gonna be heels winning. I think Taya should win. And then this match is hard to say. I do think there could be some type of interference in this possibly. Could we get a Dante Fox to come out? I know his ankles are snapped, but could he come out and still screw Kill Shot? It seems like to me if anybody he should be screwing, it should be Jake Strong. Honestly, when he catches in his gift of the gods. But but could a max screw kill shot? So maybe Sons of Havoc, possibly if there's like some type of screw job. But Shane Strickland or Kill Shot, he also can screw um the Mac by cheating. So this match can go both ways. I'm 50 50 on this. It's hard for me to predict this, but. I don't know. I don't think the Mac should be busy worrying about Mil Mortez. And Dante Fox, if he ever, like, if he even comes back, seems like he should, because there was a video package in the trailer that we've seen of him saluting with the military gear on. But then again, if he's in his military gear, there's something going to be pointing back to um, Kill Shot, not Jake Strong, so who knows. But maybe, I guess, Sons of Havoc is going to win this. Seems like the other show, I'm going to have to go with more heels winning on that show the second week. And that's going to have the two out of three match with Dark Phoenix versus um, Dragon Azteca Jr. That's going to have Neil Mortez versus the Mac. That's going to have more of um even the uh, Sacrifice to the Gods. Johnny Mundo versus um Matanza. And then the uh, Pentagon Dark versus uh, Marty the Moth slash Jake Strong. So that, that show I can see more heels winning. This one I guess the faces, the good guys are going to win this show. And that's it for my first week predictions. You guys let me know what you think down below. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't. Comment your theories or whatever. And yeah. Peace.